Uh, how do I? <laughs> this is our reformer right here. This is the vessel inside. Yeah. And uh, these are heaters. One, two, three, and four heaters that we have in it. The pulse heaters. Okay. Obviously, we've heard about them and the whole, whole deal. Yeah. Um, the vessel's filled up above here with the bed media that we have of 27 and a half feet. And we inject steam. It's a superheated steam that we have in the bottom that we put into the bottom of the vessel. And that's what we fluidize with, which keeps our bed moving inside with the consistency of water. And it comes up in the, the product gas. Once we inject liquor in the same area in the bottom, we're uh, making the hydrogen fuel. It gets uh, separated out through these internal cyclones. And the dust, any that we have, any kind of dust will fall back into the bed and product gas goes out. We go to the next screen. Next screen, we go over here to cyclones. The product gas comes out of the reformer. It gets separated again in these external cyclones that we have, and any of the dust is then cleaned out again, which gets thrown into this big hopper, and then the product gas then again goes over to our boiler, which is on the other screen over here. And any of the dust gets separated out through a series of lock copper valves, and we have a pump that um, we take from our dissolving tank at the bottom of this system and it's open closed valves here so no uh, product gas gets dumped out. We just take out the dust that's in it and it goes to a dissolving tank. Okay. Next stage we go product gas, we go to our boiler. Um, well, I guess the best way <laughs> I think the best way to do this. Uh, reformer gas. Well, how, how do I put it? It comes basically into, into the top. You need the hydrogen fuel that we have into this fuel train. And this is our hydrogen fuel that we burn in the boiler. And back a few steps, the, the four heaters in the boiler are in the vessel. The exhaust gases from them come through our... The exhaust gas also go into the boiler. But we take the exhaust gas and we heat up our steam superheated so we can fluidize the bed. Back in the reformer page. So we fluidize with the superheated steam so we're not putting saturated steam. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, it's, well, that's that. That's that. So when we, once we're putting our liquor in here, we're building bed material steady in the beds. So we have to get rid of it because we can't get it too high into the vessel. So mm -hmm. at the bottom of it, they have a series of the same type of valves I showed you on the other one. The bed material comes out of the reformer, open and closed to keep the product gas inside, and we take the bed material out. Three different series of valves with everlasting valves on them, and it uh, goes in this conveyor. This conveyor is cooled with cooling water. We have water jackets and the whole thing. And it just shakes along, just a shaker conveyor. And gets dumped out at the end of it. And goes to a cooling air or storage area. We cool it, and it goes to this elevator, drops into this elevator, goes up to the top of the building here, 100 plus feet in the air, and, and uh, goes up through a diverter valve and goes into our storage bin. We store it there. And uh, out the bottom of the storage bin, that's where we have a rotary feeder again, which goes to our dissolving tank, which is where we take the, the pellets that we make. And it gets dissolved in the dissolving tank. And oh, I don't know if I can show you that page. Uh, cooking liquor, liquor preparation. It goes to this dissolving tank. Well, That's a different area that we don't operate. We have pulp mill operates, but they dissolve okay. it here, the sodium in it. That's great. And uh, it goes through a series of heat exchangers, and it goes over to this press that we have, which is actually behind that over there. And they press out the media that are the the liquor separates the liquor and the carbon basically and we have the cooking liquor goes back to the mill and the filter cake at the end of it all gets in the dumpster and removed. Okay. That's, I, so that's it in a nutshell. Okay. I guess. One more on our heater. This is just our uh, combustion page for our heaters. This is our heater here that you'll see. I'll go here, I'll pull it up. Our heaters that are inside, this would be just a side view. We have a combustion chamber and our tubes and then exhaust gas, which goes to our superheater. And for each of our heaters, 
we have our natural gas and combustion air and uh, combustion chambers just in temperatures and you know guidelines where we have and I guess that's that's, that's it, it. Again. yeah thank you Brad could you call up a on uh, a trend just to show like what the liquor was feeding like and what the burners were working to put a trend when we were running stable to get an idea just to show you how stable it was Carlos come over here and say hello what do we got here well these are our temperatures that we trend now like this one this well, bright yellow one yep great Okay, we'll give you a little tour around that uh, market you want. All right. Is there anything else we can cover? That's our boiler flame, actually. That's uh, Keep an eye on that. We've got a certain amount of natural gas going into that, but we have hydrogen fuel on where obviously where liquor is off now, but we still have a certain amount of additional liquor, I guess, in the bed that was burned off, so there's still a certain amount of hydrogen. Or One of the concerns fuel. we had was that that boiler, I mean, could you burn the gas, and how much energy you get from it, and what the uh, particles would do. But uh, we've never uh, had a problem burning it, Brad. No. And uh, really, we do a little bit of support, but the water has not plugged up. Maybe uh, yeah, about the opacity, just to show the opacity. Uh, yeah, it's on here already, right there, number two already. I can pull it up here. There she is. Right to the bottom. See? Maybe call it the last four days, just as an idea. I'll show you. Uh, last three days, I sure. guess. Sure. Last three days. See on this page, our ship flow is 1021. Relatively low, because we don't have a lot going through it, but it was low the whole run that we had this time too. Typical recovery for an run is 20-30%. This thing's running 3 or 4%. Okay. That's, wow. your, that's your emissions air emissions going in the air. Wow. So, so that's reduced the by 90%. Yep. The baseline there. I remember we had shut off at the end of the night. Shut her down and then we're running. The capacity is still low all the way across. You can just sit close hourly, sit close when we go. That's intentional. The other ones are baseline. nice and low all the way across. I think there was 3.4%. Terrific. What do you got for bed temperature? 650? 652 degrees. So tomorrow morning, it's <laughs> horrible. So oh, you don't very want dusty and things tend to plug up. Uh, everything's different about it. So the heat to it, it's sticky and plugs things up. And so once, once we make the bed material, we'll ship that to Georgia Pacific to help them with their startup so they don't have to. So they don't have to deal with the startup. That's the work relationship we have with them. That's great. Okay, let's take a walk around and. You're okay, then, Thank you, I'll give you a call. Thank you, Brad. Morning. Movie star, right. Brad. <laughs> you know, yeah. Movie star, Brad. I got a. I'm not going to use one of those suits because they're uh, plastic, might be noisy. Okay. But I'm going to make a take an old white sheet. There you go. Make the poncho out of that, eh? One second. Yep, I'm ready. All the screens and the screen you saw was all designed in house. Okay. Are you on the weekend or no? Nope, I'll just an extra day. Okay.